Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 54. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 53 to 57. Hey, this is the uh, second video we are uh, recording where we have the goal is to count unique occurrences that are greater than 30 bucks. Here it is. This YouTuber said we have dollars spent per attendee, so there's a bunch of audit clients and they have a list but the problem with the list is they want to count greater than 30 but there's a bunch of duplicates so last video we saw how to use a pivot table this time we're going to see how to use advanced filter to create a unique list and then we'll just build our count if formula so you have to have your uh, data one cell somewhere in uh, your data set field name at the top and data elements below and go to data and then uh, advanced in 2003 you go to data menu filter and then advanced filter now it's going to ask us maybe I didn't click on it there it is let me try it again oh there it is uh, immediately we want to say copy to another location and we want to make sure that the list range that's our range from a7 to a43 that is correct you can even scroll down and verify and criteria range, we don't have any because instead of criteria range, we want to say unique records only. Now, copy to, I'm going to select very carefully uh, D7. We'll put it in D7. So copy to another location. Make sure you have the range. Don't put anything here because our criteria is unique records only. And then click copy to. Click OK. And just like that, it extracts a unique list. Now, I actually use this more often than the pivot table uh, option that we did in the last trick just because sometimes when you have a pivot table and you're making formulas the formulas have get pivot table functions and things like that but there it is it just dumps one there so we can just build our count if equals count if and we get our range I'm gonna click in the top cell and then control shift down arrow to highlight it and then I'm going to hit F4, even we no, we don't need it here because we're not copying this. But that F4 immediately will get the formula on screen again so we continue building our formula. Comma, in our criteria, since we want greater than 30, we're going to have to put our greater than in quotes. So double quote, greater than, double quote. And then ampersand to join. We're joining that symbol and that 30. Close parentheses and enter. And there's our answer. There are... 24 items in this list, unique items, uh, receipts for these audit clients that were greater than $30. All right, we'll see you next trick. We have two more ways to do this same uh, count unique records. All right, see you next trick.